Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. What's the craziest thing you've seen in a strip club? Finally. A question for me. I'm a bartender at a strip club, so I see outlandish things all the time. One that stuck out was a man laid out $1,000 on stage and told the lady to piss on him. She proceeded to take the money and do exactly that. Stripper went all around the stage getting on all fours right in front of a small group and giving them a flashlight. She then spread her cheeks and wanted the guys to aim the flashlight and peer inside of her. It was so weird. No joke, they had an Arby's upstairs. It was beautiful. Edit, quick clarification since so many people seem to want to know where this magical place was. I unfortunately don't remember the exact address as this was just something my friends and I happened to pass by while going on a road trip back in college and decided to check out if there really is a fucking Arby's in a strip club. What I do remember is this was somewhere in the Los Angeles area. This was also over 10 years ago so there's a good chance this place doesn't exist anymore, but if you're in the SoCal area and feeling adventurous I'd say go for it, smiley to the girls dragged my buddy onto stage and sat him on a chair. The biggest girl there slammed her ass down on him so hard his false tooth popped out and they had to turn on the lights and everyone was looking for it. They gave him two free shots, one to say sorry and the other to put the tooth in to disinfect it. Glitter Gulch in Vegas. Holy shit was that place rough. Saw a dancer out of her mind of something crawl to the stage, crawl around said stage, stare at a guy for half a song, then crawl back to wherever she came from. Stripper asked me if I had a problem with feet, and I honestly replied no before fully thinking it through. Next thing I know, she's using her feet to remove my glasses, and place them on her own face. Then she takes them off, and puts them back on me, again using only her feet. She was very polite, and I'm sure someone would have paid big bucks for such an opportunity, but it was mostly just surprising to me. First time in Tijuana the guy on the sidewalk by the entrance offered my friends and I a free beer just to get us in the door. We went in and sat down. Two girls came over and one immediately sat on my lap, the other one was like a translator trying to get me to pay her for a dance. I turned to my friend to say something and mid-sentence the girl on my lap put her boob in my mouth. Back in Philly 20-ish years ago, a friend and I were sitting at a table on a raised seating area just chilling, when I looked over to the front and saw the biggest guy I'd ever seen in my life walk in, a veritable wall of meat. I said holy shit that's a big guy, and my friend starts to freak out a little, you mean you don't know who that is? That's the big show from WWE. He came over, shook hands and said hi for a bit before finding his own spot. Seemed like a pretty cool dude. I used to work at one of the big clubs in NYC. We had girls who danced there that had porn careers. There was one girl who would show up as soon as we opened every day. For reference, it was always difficult to get girls to come in at the beginning of the shift because there were very few patrons and very little money to be made. Except for this Australian blonde who would be there at 4.30 p.m. Eat staff meal with us and then immediately go into a private room with a guy who obviously had made an appointment with her. They would be in the VIP for 30 minutes then they would come out. The customer leaves just as another shows up and goes back into the VIP with our girl. She would do four to six of these to start the night while the rest of the club is literally empty. One day one of our managers sticks his head into their booth to check on things and all I hear is, what the fuck Jody? Turns out, when he looked in the girl had her entire fist, wrist and half of her forearm up inside her cooch. We were a no fisting yourself kind of club so she got fired. Not crazy per se but curious and memorable. I was at Seville in downtown Minneapolis, had some buddies with me after a football game. Bottle service was flowing and there was four dancers around us giving dances to each of us. Someone farted. Badly. Bad enough that all of the girls left and they left abruptly. 
like record screeched to a stop and everyone was gagging bad. It's been like 10 years. I wanna know who dropped that bomb. It's absolutely legendary among the guys ever since. A girl in no took out her nipple piercings, replaced them with matches, lit the matches and had one of the guys in our group blow them out. Holly Tamali I won't forget you LMAO. Tie to everyone who reminded me how it was spelled. Not seen, but I did have a black stripper ask me and my then spouse, both white, if we wanted to go in the back and make a reverse aria. Edit, y'all need to calm down. It was like 1 p.m. on a Tuesday and we had a coupon for free drinks. She gave me her card though. Do strippers usually have cards? Went with a few guy friends of mine one night and while they were at the bar, one of the dancers came and had a seat on my lap and started doing the flirty things, like twirling my hair with her arm around her shoulder, all while whispering to me that her ex-boyfriend was there and he had been using drugs and was threatening to kill her. I texted one of my friends at the bar and told him to tell the bouncer while I kept her cool. He was thrown out and arrested. She stayed and talked with us and showed her gratitude for our help. I still hang out with her from time to time. A former student of mine. She was part of my fourth grade classroom years prior. One day I went to our local strip club with a few friends and the girl on stage kept looking towards our table. Later on, she came right to me and asked if I remembered her. At first I didn't, until she told me her name. I felt so weird. She was like I really liked your class and I remember you helping me with my math. Then she gave me a hug and she wanted to give me a lap dance. I left and haven't gone there since. Asterisk edit, wow. This blew up quickly. Yes, I'm sure she probably makes more money than me. That hurts more than it should. Edit 2, lots of people here are letting me know that my teaching was not good enough to save her from becoming a stripper. Listen, I am not the reason she became a stripper. I did my best to make sure she got a decent education when she was in my classroom. She went from failing grades to getting A slash B on a roll at the end of the year. Whatever life choices she made after she moved on from my class were hers to make. Went with some friends to one while we were in college. We were sitting in pervert's row across the stage from some drunk dude bro who kept slapping the stage. Two girls into the show, the next stripper to walk out is a little person like dwarfism and all. As she takes off her panties and is now completely nude, I feel the stage shaking. We look up to see the slapping guy is face down on the stage having a full-on, mouth-foaming grand mal seizure. The girl glances down and keeps dancing like nothing's wrong I seem to remember her shrugging after she looks down, but that may just be my imagination embellishing the memory. While in Okinawa, there was an event called the Banana Show, which was an elderly woman getting naked on stage and showing off her vaginal skills. One was eating a banana with her pussy and the other was picking up a stack of quarters and shooting them out one at a time. There is a famous strip club where I currently live, near a military base. The base over 20 years ago had a massive bed bug infestation. The bugs were so severe that an investigation was started, and they were traced back to a small group of strippers who were escorting themselves out of the club and from a nearby trailer park. While in Florida, I witnessed three strippers get into a fist fight at a club when a particular regular arrived. In asking some questions, I came to learn that this regular became very generous with his money when he was drunk. However he would only do so with one girl. Which was why the strippers were fighting, they wanted to be that one girl was in MTL with two friends for Jazz Fest and Sting was headlining that year. One friend had never been to a strip club so we decide to go and randomly ask a junkie on the street for a recommendation as one does. He directs us to Club Super Sexy, which happens to be iconic, and burned down last year. We're there and we notice a group in the corner getting a ton of attention from literally all the girls. So we crane our necks and look over to see Sting and his band chilling. Now here's the funny part, 
we're big nerds and we'd remembered Gary Kasparov had just played and beat Sting and Band in chess a few weeks prior, so my friend thinks it's a clever idea to go over and ask how it was playing chess against the world champ. He comes back seconds later, Sting had responded, we know why you're here and we know why I'm here, so why don't you go back to your seat and have a nice time. Not really crazy but an experience for sure, I must have been 18 to 19, anyway after a concert, me and a few buddies went to a strip club, get inside, not the best place, talent was okay at best and the place was dead apart from us and some old dude, I'm talking 80 plus. Where I'm from you cannot smoke in bars or anything, you need to go outside, so we have had a few drinks and tipped a small amount of money, decide we are gonna go outside for a smoke, the bartender reaches under the bar and pulls up two ashtrays and lets us smoke inside, proceeds to give us free shots with each beer we buy and we are generally having a good time chatting with the guy. The girls are not really dancing anymore unless it's their time on stage and are hanging around us just chatting, one girl has just finished her set and comes up to us crying, saying the old guy tried to put his beer bottle up her ass, the bartender speaks up and says OFFS oh, not again, I've told this guy a few times now, we offer to help him get the guy to leave, the second we walk over to his booth, he is putting the beer bottle up his own ass, looks us dead in the eye and says wanna taste. We get him out the bar shuts down and the bartender lets us stay just drinking and talking shit until about 8am, bars closed at 4am. All in all had a good time. I went with a bunch of friends, prior to showing up we drank a bunch and smoked some weed. The group sort of split up shortly after arriving, some were outside smoking, others were at the bar, I found myself sitting alone about 6 feet from the stage. At some point I feel something hit me in the side of the head. I look down and it's a soaking wet coaster. I look around and I see some d-bag in a tight tank top staring at me. Like straight up eye contact. So I sit there, fairly stoned pondering how I'm going to react to this. I'm a little nervous because I'm not super into fighting and in order to be any good I sort of have to have a reason, a motivating factor, and I don't have one. I'm just stoned and drunk in a strip bar feeling pretty good, up until that point. But this guy won't stop staring at me, and I literally don't figure out what I'm going to do. Leave. Stand my ground. It's basically consuming me. Then a buddy walks by and I say hey, are you prepared to throw down if we have to? And he goes fuck yeah. Of course. Who? And I point to the guy and he goes why him? what the fuck is going on? And I said well I'm sort of losing it here because he's been staring at me for about 5 minutes after throwing a wet coaster at me. And my dude goes oh dude. Ha 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 that was me. And walks away. When I was in the army I was a part of a funeral detail. We were to perform the 31 gun salute for soldiers that passed away from my unit. A lot of these guys were guys we personally knew and we traveled the country to their hometowns and did the memorial services. To keep our minds off of the task at hand, there was a lot of bench drinking and a tour to strip clubs. I.e. seen all kinds of shit from strippers performing with crutches and a broken leg, girls that could bounce any part of their bodies on command, strippers throwing up on stage, and many more wild things. One particular night stands out above the rest though. We had ended up in New Jersey and we drove across the New York border to go to this shady place that was a BYOB type of place. We didn't bring any beers but the door guy had a guy that would essentially Uber eats you anything. Drugs, beers, food, or whatever was offered. We are about 5 beers each into the night when there is a pretty attractive younger nanny named Fran looking girl starting her routine when all of a sudden another pretty attractive female sprints onto the stage and tackles her off of the pole mid rotation. At first everyone including the announcer was concerned. Then the tables turn. They strip each other's clothes off and start going down on each other. It was pretty graphic. So obviously more money than I have ever seen on a stage was thrown out there and they were separated after the song ended. It took them about 5 minutes to gather up all of the money. That shit was pretty wild though. 
I went to one here in Sydney, and a French girl was working in a tiny pair of knickers that only covered half her pussy lips. She comes up to me and says want to see my trick. I said sure, expecting something cool on the pole or some crazy bendy shit, but instead she pulls out a little cat of nine tails whip, slides the handle into her pussy and starts twirling the damn whip like it's a nipple tassel. I nearly died laughing. Drunk guy kept trying to get on stage at the local strip club, the owner was there and was an MMA fighter, he may have overlooked his strength vs the drunk dum dum. Grabbed him by the collar and threw him off the stage guy cracked his head on the floor, little pool of blood. They brought him back to the back, fixed him up with a couple lap dances for free, must of. Because he came out of the back with a smile on his face. I thought he was dead, so that's good he was not. Good indeed. Thailand. Ping pong balls flying from vaginas. Pull a string full of razors out of pussy one by one. Use a blow dart gun and pop a balloon on the ceiling with a queef. Other crazy stuff that I was too drunk to remember. Went to a strip club with a buddy. On the way in we saw police stranding next to a dude on the curb crying. And whatever. Come to find out from another dancer, that dude racked up an $800 dance. That's like two hours, most likely just talking. Turns out his credit card declined. When we walked in all the dancers were huddled around while she was practically screaming in frustration. So they called the cops cause it is theft. That's why they're outside with the dude. Turns out he had to call his wife to come use her credit card to pay off his dance. Surprisingly she shows up and it's like midnight by this point. She pays it off and he's banned from the club. The bartender thought it was hilarious when we chatted with him. Unfortunately none of the dancers were in a good mood after that. Seven or eight month pregnant woman was working, flirting with some tables. Fair enough. Pregnant women need to work too. It didn't take me long to see her taking shots with said tables. Next dancer comes on. It's her. She almost falls off the stage a few times. Kneeled down, she is now fingering herself on stage. This was my first experience at a strip club, at 15 years old. It's safe to say I did not want to go to the Rippers for many years afterwards. Edit, apologies, after thinking about this a little further, it was likely that I was 16, and not 15. Once in the States I saw a tweaked out stripper dance to herself in the corner mirror. Once in Canada back when we could hop the pond at 18 and go drinking we went to Toronto, I think, and it was this strip club with a huge volcano on the stage and this girl got forced out on the stage and she just cried. It was very uncomfortable and we left. Not many people inside. A female friend of mine was there. She was a free spirit, wearing a short skirt and no panties was pretty normal for her. No surprise after a few hours she's been flirting and getting way too drunk. So, they pull her on stage, and she's dancing around, but not showing much or anything. The stripper is playing it up, slipping her hands just under the skirt, trying to kiss her. My friend was having a ball, spanking the stripper's ass, bending her over, and the crowd was throwing money like crazy. Eventually they ended up on the floor, and the stripper puts her head up my friend's skirt and she's laughing and rolling her hips and playing the whole thing up. Everyone is loving it, throwing money like crazy. Then I notice my friend's expression change. She made a face like she just got a wet willy and her eyes went wide. She froze and just stayed like that for what seemed like a long time, but it was probably less than a minute. Before I knew it she was reaching for my hand, and I helped her off stage and it was time to go. She told me that really happened. We were joking around and then all of a sudden I was getting my pussy eaten on stage in front of 100 guys. Apparently the stripper got down there and decided to just go for it. I went with a wealthy friend of mine once and he brought around 10k in ones. Never seen so many strippers flock to a table full of college kids in my entire life. Incredible disturbing, amazing. I've been a stripper for nine years. 
I've seen a dancer accidentally kick her 8-inch heel across the club and hit a guy in the head, I've seen a pole dislodge after a dancer took a running start at it, she had to get stitches, I've seen a dancer cover herself in baked beans as part of a barbecue themed performance, I've seen way too many guys get kicked out for whipping their dicks out without consent. I've seen many dancers slap guys in the face, myself included, I've seen dancers fall over drunk on stage, I've seen a customer get stabbed by another customer, I've seen Drake and a lot of famous athletes, I've seen dancers get their period on stage or forget to tuck a tampon string in, I've seen countless customers cry while getting a lap dance. I could probably think of more things. I didn't see this happen but it's lore of the stripper community in my city, a DJ told me the story of a dancer who wasn't feeling well before a stage show but went up anyway, was fully nude when she bent over and squirted diarrhea across the stage, with a full audience. She moved and changed her name. Early 90s my buddy and I walk into our local strip joint to find an amateur strip contest about to begin. We were asked if we wanted to judge. Preferred seating and two free drinks each, we were on board. With scorecards in hand we took our jobs very seriously indeed, making sure the girls knew we were judges and being treated as such. Every 20 minutes we flagged a different waitress and told them we hadn't received our free drinks yet. Fantastic night. I was a male stripper back in 07-08 and I've got more than my fair share of stories but to start, I'll say the time that a guy's wife found out he was in there and she thought it was a female strip club and she walked in and spotted him and started pummeling him as hard as she could before looking up and realizing that he was at the stage with a guy's thinly veiled dick waving in his face. The moment of realization that her husband was, on some level, into guys, broke her brain. I actively heard her brain make the Windows 7 shutdown noise. Went to a strip club and there was an event happening. Some sort of Egyptian costume party. There was a buffet table with all sorts of food. And there was like, a two foot high mountain of bacon on one end of the table. I've never seen anything like it before. It was beautiful. Also saw the girl I asked to prom in high school on stage. That wasn't that crazy, just surprising. A competition was held every week that involved all the amateurs. An event where one woman had to crack an egg into their mouth and then get the egg into another woman's mouth. Known at the club as the Com Swap Challenge. Long story short, I barbacked at that strip club at the time and had to clean up the egg afterwards. But even weirder was that one stripper, every night would dance to Darude Sandstorm, and only that. So if she went on more than once a night, that song kept playing. It was a bachelor party we had dinner then some drunk and someone said let's hit a strip club. We arrive and one of the guys is pretty drunk band decides he wants to sit at the bar but it's full, he see a wheelchair at the end of the bar so he get a drink and says fuck it I'll sit there. Skip ahead 30 minutes girls are all over him. Apparently he's telling them a story about how he got hurt in the war. Some time passes we decide to leave and I go to get him. I figured I would play along and push him out. I say hey time to go, he replies ok cool stands up and walks out. The faces of the girls were priceless. Only time I have ever been to a strip club. We're not in our home country. My friends and I are a little tipsy, we walk in the place, strippers on the bar with her legs spread and whipped cream slathered on her cooch. My buddy just plants his face in that cool whip for a solid 15 to 30 seconds. Yikes. I was in a strip club in Arizona and saw two guys get into a fight over a dancer that led up to one of them getting stabbed slash cut with what I assume was a pocket knife by the other. It wasn't a bad wound there wasn't much blood and the one who got stabbed was still talking shit and trying to throw punches. While all this was going on and security was trying to split the two of them up, one of the friends, I guess, of the one who actually did the stabbing slash cutting ran out to his car and came back in waving a smaller gun around talking to the one who got stabbed slash cut about how he was going to light his ass up until he got tackled by three random ass guys who were near him. The entire time this was happening, there were two girls still dancing on the stage like nothing was going on. When I saw the gun, 
I decided at that point that it was time to go, tip the dancer I was watching on the stage, handed my waitress a $50 bill for the two drinks and nachos I'd ordered and told her to keep whatever was left as a tip, then walked the hell out. When I was about 8 to 10 years old, my dad had a vending machine job. He'd go around and collect money from machines and refill them. They were all types of machines, gumball, candy, cigarette machines. But the best ones were in the strip clubs. Mostly condom machines and feminine products. Well we'd go there like noontime and there'd be dancers there making a living. My dad would get hassled by the bouncer, you can't bring a kid in here. Dad's like would you rather me leave him alone in a car outside a strip club? Allowed to go in I wasn't allowed to look at the girls working. Which I did, sat in the farthest booth in the place and I was facing away from the stages. One twenty-something girl comes up one arm across her chest, bottomless mind you. Comes to say hi and I'm the cutest kid she's seen. I'm like wow that's a compliment coming from an attractive girl who's naked and telling me this. My dad's like shoo you're gonna get me kicked out. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.